All right, everyone, and welcome to Magic's Gathering Trivia Game Show, whatever you want to call it. We have Gavin Verhey in the house. We also have Talia Vess, and we also have Hi. Joe Cherries, everyone. We're going to test out our Magic the Gathering random knowledge, and we have some categories for you all. And we're going to see who wins. Categories are as follows. We have before and after. I'm going to give you a prompt, two different prompts, and then the last letter of the first answer is going to be the same as the first, uh, I mean, first word of the second answer. And if that was confusing, I can repeat that. For instance, if something ends in, if, so, if one of the first answers is dream, like a, a magic card that ends in dream, and the second answer is dream trawler, you would say XX dream trawler, if that makes sense. Yes? Okay. 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 We have name the plane, which I'm going to give you three different Magic the Gathering cards from this plane, and then you have to answer with the plane that they're from. More lore is a random lore question. Between the lines is I'm going to give you a card. I'm not going to tell you the card name unless... Uh, otherwise noted, I'm going to give you some lines of the card and a blank line out of the card, and you're going to tell me what the blank line says. And then lucky seven is every answer is a wheel. Makes sense, everybody? Do we need to wait until you're finished reading the question to buzz in? Or <laughs> um, do we just buzz in as soon as we have the answer? We have confidence from Gavin. Okay, no, yes. Um, oh, you... yeah. I mean, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to buzz in too early. Oh, yeah. We, uh, please wait until I finish. Okay. Okay, nice. All right. Are you ready? Everyone ready? Sure. Yeah, I think that I think to answer Talia's question, Lucky Seven is about Wheel of Fortune effects, right? So something that draws you seven. Um, okay. Yes, yeah. something that draws seven. Okay. All right, take it away, James. I also have to say that you must answer in the form of a question. I'm not going to be ruthless with this, but what is slash who is will be required in the beginning. Talia, you can pick first. Oh, um, let's do between the lines for. 300. All right, between the lines <laughs> between the lines for 300. This spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Blank. Tap. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Gavin. Uh, what what is Emery Lurker Malak? Oh, you have to actually say the line of it, but yes, put the top 4 cards of your library into your graveyard. That that is the actual answer. I'm going to give it to you though. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. We have, we have to answer with the missing test. Answer with the missing test, yes. You get 300 points. <laughs> Gavin, you're up. Let's go with uh, name the plane for 400. Pure the Steel Paladin. Yeah. Raider's Grasp. Karn Liberated. Talia. Dominaria. Oh, what is Dominaria? I don't know. Uh, that is incorrect. Dang it! Gavin. Now, I, I like believe the answer should be, what is New Phyrexia? But, but I will say you could argue uh, Mirrodin or Argentum if you're going toward uh, the original name for the plane. But I, it should be based on the cards. And if, if these are in the set, New Phyrexia, New Phyrexia. What is New Phyrexia? Congratulations, Gavin. Of course. <laughs> of course. Gavin. Uh, let's go um, name the plane for 300. The Immortal Sun, Arch of Araska, Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> Gavin. Uh, where is Ixalan? That is correct. <laughs> Uh oh, we we might have a a problem here, guys. Uh, you, you, I buzzed in. I you was should, just late. You, you should step up your buzzing in game. I think Gav, we might I, we might have a spammer. I kind of predicted how this would go. So. <laughs> There's a lot of game. Left. There's a lot of game left. We might have a spammer, guys. You're up, Gavin. Uh, great. Same category, two hundred. Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis, Nyx Bloom Ancient, Shadow Spear. Gavin. Where is Theros? That is correct. Boo! All I feel right. like I'm buzzing in so quick and I'm All not... Right. <laughs> All right, Gavin. Uh, same category, 500. Killing it. Lightning Greaves, Platinum Angel, Chalice of the Void. Gavin. Where is Mirrodin? <sighs> oh my goodness. That is correct. I mean... I'm just too slow on the buzzer. <laughs> I have, I've had a lot of these answers. I'm too slow. <laughs> Are our cameras frozen, by the way? Uh, they, should, they shouldn't be. Let me, let me just double check here for you. Uh, oh okay. Uh, they um they should be good. They are now. They were frozen before. They were frozen before. Oh okay okay. Next up, you guessed it, Gavin. <laughs> Let's go with between the lines for two hundred. Switching it up. Mm -hmm. All creatures gain trample and haste until end of turn. Blank. Target player gains five life. Target player draws a card. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. Go. Uh 
put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That is correct. Welcome to Yay! the non-zero, Joe. Yay! <laughs> Joe's put some points on the board. I think Gavin gave me that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know, will we? Can't confirm nor deny. Yeah, we'll never know, will we? Can't confirm nor deny. Joe, you're up. Uh, I'll go. Let's. I like going in order. Uh, all y'all are psychopaths for picking <laughs> in the middle. Let's go, Lucky. Lucky seven for one hundred. This wheel's name is also an iconic American game show hosted by Pat Sajak, and in 2024 will be hosted by Ryan Seacrest. Gavin. Uh, what is Wheel of Fortune? That is correct. What is Wheel oh of Fortune? Oh my god. I framed this rig buzzer. <laughs> you framed the rig buzzer? That's that, funny. That was, that was not, that was totally not reset. Boo. It wasn't reset, but I, I, clear, I cleared it afterwards. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to lock it until I read the thing. Yeah, now Gavin can't cheat anymore. That's why I was <laughs> Gavin the whole time was just clicking right as I was reading the last word. That's how he got in. Lucky 7 for 400. Lucky 7 for 400. This wheel can only be cast from the graveyard. Gavin. Okay. What is Ruin Grinder? I need to look up that card, actually. <laughs> but oh, Ru Ruin Grinder is a card that you can exile from your graveyard to make each player discard their hand and draw cards. It's not cast, right? Is that an ability, an ability or a cast? It's an ability. This wheel can only be cast from the graveyard. That is wrong. Take okay. the points away. Yeah. Does anyone else know what the answer is? I do not. Talia, any guesses? Um... If, you, if you buzz in and get it wrong, you lose the points. I ain't buzzing. Um... <laughs> I ain't buzzing. I don't know this one. Looks like, um... looks like your 10 seconds is over. The answer is memory. Oh. Dang my, it, I just played that card yesterday. From my commit partner memory. just tried to yell commit it downstairs memory. after after it was after the question was over. I can hear him screaming. Oh, he, he said it? He said memory? <laughs> he's he's screaming from the from upstairs to tell me the answer. Oh my Cheat gosh. <laughs> but, but, Cheater. <laughs> but did he did he get it right I, though? That's the question. I'm so sad. I definitely was playing. He got it right yesterday. He, he had it right, yeah. Nice. Okay, so we finally stumped Gavin. That that's a win for all of us, isn't it? I mean, my yeah. answer was a kind of a stump. It, it, was, it was it was kind of a stump, yeah. Kind of, it was kind of yeah. kind, kind of not it really. Also showed off your magic, it also showed off your magic knowledge by having a card that is very similar to that. It is it is very similar, uh, and I had no clue that card existed. Okay, we'll go we'll go uh, Gavin again. Yeah, let's go Lucky Seven Three Hundred. This wheel does its best time twister impression, but then ends the turn. <sighs> Gavin. What is Days Undoing? Correct. But dang it! <laughs> dang it! I knew I can't beat him on the bus. Or he's too quick. <laughs> he's too fast. Somebody I stop him. Happen. I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Fiber for my connection. Sponsored <laughs> <laughs> by Fiber. <laughs> That's true. My internet actually sucks. I have Spectrum. I live in Buffalo, New York. It is garbage. <laughs> uh, no. Let's go, lu Lucky Seven Five Hundred. Yeah, make sure that buzzer's locked. This wheel can be exiled to be cast for free later on. Joe. Um. Oh crap. Oh no. Uh, no. Is is it Wheel of Fate? It is Wheel of Fate. What? <laughs> oh, I got good job. I got really worried. I forgot it. <laughs> like I knew I I could picture everything about the card, but the name was like escaping me. Yes, we, Wheel of Fate does have suspend. Joe, you're up. Uh, let's go. Let's finish off the category. Lucky seven for two hundred. All right. All right. This wheel it's draws more cards. The more cards that are in a player's hand. Joe. Uh, windfall? Windfall is correct. Nice. Everyone clap, everyone clap. <laughs> I, I do believe that uh, that Corvat's Fury would also be an eligible answer. I'm just saying. What's it called? Corvat's Fury. That was my answer. I, you, I thought you said Corvette's Fury for a second. I was like, that has to be an uncard. But... Yeah, Corvette's Fury. The Let's Players wheel and draw one more card. Oh my so, gosh. Okay, there's well. Also dark, there's also Dark Deal that uh, you, you draw one less. Yeah, that, that, that is not an eligible answer, but also a great card. True. Joe, you're up. All right, let's go with Between the Lines for 100. Dark Steel Plate is indestructible. Blank. Equip two. Gavin. Dang it. What is a quick creature is indestructible? That is correct. Uh, let's go before and after 400. The spell that killed the dinosaurs. And make sure you check the mana value of your opponent's creatures before you exile them. Gavin. What is, um, well, the, the first one, well, extinction event is what you're looking for here. Is that how we're supposed to phrase the answers? What is extinction um, event? Say both names all together. You're looking for a star of extinction event? I am looking for star of extinction event. This is the format okay, that you're you supposed to answer, like, just like this. There we go. Okay. What, what, what is star of extinction event? Correct. 
All right, there we go. I, I feel like this category might be pretty hard, but Gavin got it instantly, so here we go. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's take before and after for 300. Before and after for 300. Iconic mana rock that discards a card, and creature that gains life when you cast a spell of a chosen color. Ah, oh, gosh. Um, hmm. Hmm. Three seconds. Hmm. That's a tough one. No one got it. It is. Yeah, no. What is Mox Diamond Mare? Mox. Um, what is Mox Diamond Man? <laughs> uh, that that was a tough one. That one was Mox Diamond was gettable, but the Diamond Mare, damn. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> a, that's a, that's a deep cut right there. That is a deep cut. Dang. Let's continue before and after two hundred. A creature that searches for a forest card and puts it into play untapped. A green creature that taps for black mana. Gavin. What is Wood Elves of Deep Shadow? <laughs> I can't be that is that. correct. Wood Elves of Deep Shadow. Y'all right. are good. I I'm mean, Gavin, slow. you're too good. Wow. <laughs> I have the answer, I swear. <laughs> I swear I have the answer. I'm Gavin. Too slow. Let's go 500. Uncounterable Red Planeswalker and popular Red Reanimation Target. Oh, dang. I knew the first part, but not the second part. All right. No one got it. It is, what is Chandra Awakened Inferno Titan? Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I get... All I'm saying is if you're reanimating That's Inferno the... Titan, you're a better card you can be reanimated. Okay, that's, that's, that is that is yeah, true, even, but the that is, that, is, that, is, that is true, but if it's a uncountable red planeswalker and you get Chandra Awakened Inferno, then you get to have a clue on whether what popular red reanimation target starts with Inferno. Yeah, Inferno the Star Mount, clearly. Inferno the Star Mount, oh. I love that card. <laughs> that is a better red reanimation target. Just saying. All right, let's say before <laughs> and after for one hundred. White creature that searches an equipment. Would you like to pay four for that? Gavin. No. What is Stoneforge Mystic Remora? That is correct. What is Stoneforge Mystic one. Remora? What? Nice. Remora. <laughs> All right, Gavin. The buzzers are rigged. The buzzers go, are rigged. Uh, let's go more lore for 500. This is an ancient and epic piece of magic that reverberates across the plane of Ravnica and can even be seen referenced in the Thespian Stage and Emergent Zone. Joe. What is the ley lines? That is incorrect. Ah, oh, no. I use that card. What is in there? I am sad right now. I'm going to just guess. Okay, we have Thalia. Uh, what is Mana Vault? That is incorrect. Going down to minus 500. I thought that was in the artwork. The answer is, someone in chat got it right. The answer is, what is the Guild Pact? Oh, oh my god. I, I was uh, gonna say the guild pact, but I was just too worried I was gonna be wrong. Oh uh, man. Worried you're gonna be wrong. You have twenty five hundred points to play with or play around with. You're fine. Exactly. I don't wanna lose any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can now. Dang it. <laughs> you must must hold on to the twenty five hundred. All right, let's go lore four hundred. During the Phyrexian invasion, this place was one of the first places to fall into the hands of Phyrexia, and the place Yogmoth was finally defeated. Talia. Um, um, uh, what is Innistrad? That is the incorrect. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Gavin. All right. What is Dominaria? Incorrect. Yeah, that was, really that was recently. Five. You know? I <laughs> no. I have a guess, but I don't want to be wrong. No need to start the timer. <laughs> you ain't buzzing in. <laughs> the answer is what is Urborg? Urborg. Okay, Urborg is on Dominaria. I didn't. Well, yes, but it is. Oh. It is the place Yogmoth was defeated. I, I, well, I, I guess I could. I, I could have de differentiated between place and plane, right? Oh, you know, you're right. Yeah. All right, we are. We're going to um, say that is an asterisk for Gavin. So I'm going to give Gavin the next question. Yeah, to give him the points right. back. Okay, you have your points back. That is zero points, since Urborg right, is on Dominaria. He doesn't need those points. <laughs> Oh. Uh, th th I'll, I'll, I'll take the points back. Let's go. Uh, I, I could have said be more specific. Yes. Between the lines, five hundred. Between the lines for five hundred. This is the daily double. Do -do 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 Would you like to wager up to twenty five hundred to name every keyword and ability of Questing Beast? Yeah. No, no I would not. Yeah. Oh, I would like oh. to... How much would you like to I, wager, I, I, Gavin? I would like to wager um... everything. Come on, Evan. Have you been okay. on Jeopardy before? Okay, so we're wagering zero for the for the concept. Wager zero. I, wagering I, I, zero. I, I, I mean, you have to, don't you have to wager at least one hundred or something? Oh wait, you, have, right, you do I'll, have to I'll... wager at least five hundred, right? right? It's, it's okay, five hundred to I, double. I, then I will wager five hundred. 
It's time. Okay. Damage can't be prevented. Uh, whenever it deals damage to a planeswalker, you have to deal that much damage to target creature that player controls. And it's the last one that was tripping me up that I, that I don't know. And then I, it's got, uh, what, Vigilance, Haste, and uh, I don't remember. Reach. Oh. That, that doesn't matter. I, I don't know this one. The reason I wanted to bid zero on it. Are you kidding? Who knows all the abilities? <laughs> Are you kidding? Who knows the abilities yeah, of busting beast? I always forget one, even I, when it's I right forgot, in front of me. I forgot the prevent damage one. I I did know the. Isn't it can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less? We are going to subtract Gavin five hundred points. Yep. Vigilance, death yep, touch, sure. haste. Questing beast can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Combat damage that would be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. Whenever questing beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target planeswalker that player controls. You got most of it. Yeah. All right. Great. I'll, I I earned those five hundred points. <laughs> yeah. really All right, Gavin. Let's go. I, I I have the screen's not refreshing, but I think four hundred is still available in this category. Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, put a two-two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Blank. Whenever an opponent discards a non-creature non-land card, draw a card. Joe. I know this one. Whenever a player dis whenever an opponent discards a land card, make black black. Correct. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, add black black to your mana pool. Joe. Let's go more lore for one hundred. Upon contact with Oko in Eldrain, Kenrith was turned into this animal. Gavin. What is an elk? That is correct. Next up, Gavin. Uh, same category, 200. Elspeth escaped the underworld with this weapon. Joe. What is Shadow Spear? What is Shadow Spear is correct. Next up, Joe. I didn't get the Elspeth question. I just realized. <laughs> I know. I'm buzzed. I'm buzzed. <laughs> I do know that one. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a, let's take uh, more lore for three hundred. Nicol Bolas claimed dominion over Ravnica by casting this spell that granted him ultimate power and godhood. Joe, what is the elder spell? That is correct. What is the elder spell? Nice. Nice, nice. I loved this card, by the way, when it was in Standard. It was all over the place. And elder the last spell. one, name the plane for 100. Robber of the Rich, Doom Foretold, Wishclaw Talisman. Gavin. Where is Eldrain? That is correct. Now, we have Gavin at 2,200 points. We have Talia at minus 900. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Joe at 1,100. <laughs> so exactly half of Gavin. We are going to move to final jeopardy how this works is you wager an amount of points um from the lowest is zero and the highest is the amount of points that you have so you can wager all of your points and i'll give you a category you must wager after i give you the category and then after you wager i will tell you all the question and you must answer the question as um as knowledgeable as you can the category is ban lists i will give you 10 seconds to wager uh, i'm gonna do it all now how does wagering negative 900 work uh does getting it right good or getting it wrong good? <laughs> <laughs> if, if, uh, in, the, in the event that I've never experienced this before, but if Talia gets it right, uh, she'll go to zero. Um, yeah. If she gets it wrong, she'll go to ne negative 1800. I wager zero. The question is, how many cards have gotten banned in standard from Throne of Eldraine? Wow. I'm ready. I'm going to go to Gavin first. Well, I wagered zero dollars. Gavin wagered, yeah, I wagered zero dollars. So um, I answered three. Okay. Oh. So Gavin will lose or gain a total of zero. Gavin will stay at 2,200. Um, Talia. Yeah. I said four. Okay. And Joe, what is your answer? All right. My final guess was six. Um, what I could think of was Oko, Fires, Clover, Cauldron Familiar. What was the other two? I literally oh, yeah. was going through them in my head. Uro. Now, Uro's from Theros. I was literally going through my head. The one I was questioning oh. uh, on whether to go to seven was uh, Wilderness Reclamation was the one that was, like, stumping me. I don't know if that was banned in standard. It's banned in something historic that i'm gonna give you Maybe, a little yeah. uh that card was banned in standard but it was not from um, throne of eldraine oh it's not from throne of eldraine that is from m20 i, thought... I believe oh, okay that so my... what's the answer i guess let's find out okay so gavin loses or gains zero but gavin was wrong so you will lose zero instead of gaining zero how's that 
Yeah, I didn't think about it very long. Uh, Tal- Talia will lose a grand total of 900 more. Dang it. And, no way. And Joe was correct and gets oh. 1,100 points. Escape what? To <laughs> Escape to the Wilds was another one. And, no. and is correct with six. What? The cards are Oko Thief of Crowns, Once Upon uh-huh. a Time, Once Fires of Invention. Oh, yeah. That was one it. of the Yeah, when I went through it in my head, that was the first one I thought of. Fires of Invention. Oh yeah. Cauldron Familiar. Lucky Clover. And yeah. Escape to the Wilds. And yeah, I, I, I believe you can that. correct me, Gavin, if I'm wrong, but I believe this is tied for the for the most <laughs> cards banned in a standard in Magic history, the one the uh, set yeah, with the most banned cards. Urza block, but yeah, yeah, Ur- Urza block nice. is um is also six, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> anyway, about, so uh, since so what's... since Gavin and Joe, since you're both tied at twenty two hundred, I don't have another final Jeopardy question if you both tie again. So please, please, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Someone get it wrong. No, or both get it right. Um, we have another final Jeopardy. Do we have to bid? Do you have to bid? Yes. We we have to. We, oh. we should we should bid. We have to bid without each other knowing at this point, right? It's you have to bid without without each other knowing. Yes. So write yeah, write it so. down. Write it down on however you want to write it down. Oh man. Um, you'll bid. You'll it. bid after I I tell you the category. Let's start. All right. All right. The category I can't is it. color combinations. Bid now. Or should we reveal our bids now? No, re- reveal, reveal your bids um, after you both have answered. Right. The, the question is, what is the Nephilim-based name for the color combination of white, blue, black, and red? That's so funny because I just did this on TikTok. Did you really? Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, you would have got this. Yeah, I was like, what the heck is this? And I had to look <laughs> up the four colored names. And I like made a TikTok video about this specific one, this exact color combination. Oh my gosh! Oh, dang it! Um, t- t- tell you, tell you, if you blue. if you get it right, I will let you break even. How's that? <laughs> okay, I got my answer. <laughs> you said white, blue, black, and red. White, blue, black, and red. Array of colors. The worst part is I know all their names, but I don't remember which one goes to which name. You're gonna have to be able to read this weird scratch, but I believe in you. <laughs> All right, I uh, I wrote it down. Okay, so Gavin has his answer. Do you have your answer, Joe, without BZ, sc- or without someone else screaming from somewhere else? I, no, not really. <laughs> I put words. I put words on this piece of paper on this <laughs> thing right here. Okay, it's time to reveal your 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 wagers. I'll do wagers first, then answers. What is your wager, Gavin? Uh, twenty. You probably can't read it right here. It's twenty two hundred. It's all the money I have in the world. Oh my, Joe. What is your wager? I just erased it. It was also twenty two hundred. Okay, Whoa. we both wager everything. And I definitely got it wrong. So uh... it bo- wait, hold on. This is weird. If both of you get it wrong and Talia gets it right, you're tied for zero. We're all tied for zero. <laughs> oh boy. Great. <laughs> To be fair, color combinations seemed really doable until you wanted the damn name of Nephilim. <laughs> Okay, now going first is Gavin. What is your answer? My answer is, if you can read it in my very tiny chicken scratch here, your tiller nephilim. Okay, what is what is your answer, mm-hmm. Joe? Uh, I went with Dune Brood Nephilim. I don't know if that's even one of them. <laughs> what is your answer, yeah. Talia? My answer is, what is your tiller? Okay, Joe has lost all of his points. Uh, Talia goes to yeah. zero. Uh, and Gavin goes to 4,400 with the correct answer of your. Uh, <laughs> that was a... <laughs> Ooh, I hate the so, wow. so this could have went uh, went very different, but it looks more lopsided than it actually was, everyone. 
but no, it doesn't. Technically, no, it Gavin exactly has won. as lopsided as it was. <laughs> this is exactly what I predicted, honestly. <laughs> but Gavin has won with a total of forty four hundred points. Talia zero and Joe zero. Congratulations, yeah. Gavin! You have won a hundred dollars of CoolStuffInc.com store credit. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, I right. forgot about the prize. I didn't, even know, I didn't even know there was a prize, but that's great to know. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks for everybody. playing. Thank you so much, Dan.